Hey everybody, this is Titanic Gamer Dude here, and welcome back to my uh, video uh, tutorial or video guide let's play of Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is Barry Burton's campaign, Chapter 2. There is going to be a new enemy introduced in this chapter, and it's the Glass. But for the majority of the part, Barry Burton. Barry Burton in the first chapter is just pr pretty much the only enemies are Rotten's and you know um Revenants. You won't ever forget those bastards. Always be around to just remind you just what you're messing with. Well, uh, <laughs> all right, uh, we'll get out of this little place over here and a lot. Of the rottens you meet in the first chapter are almost gone, and the only thing that's going to be here are just revenants and glasps. Now, the reason why I tossed the brick down there is because when you're going down to these slopes, the brick will not come with Natalia. So if you toss it down, it will. And a revenant is going to spawn right now. There's one right there. there. Toss the brick at it. Expose the weakness. And dead. Just like that. Revenants won't be too much of an issue on this level if you know what you're doing. Just like many enemies in the Resident Evil series, if you know what you're doing, they shouldn't be an issue. As you can see, he's tired. You tire out much easier, too. <laughs> Alright. I'll switch bricks. Because this one has more durability. There we go. This is going to optimize brick. This is just going to optimize the brick. And two of them are going to spawn. Don't worry. You can sneak attack these enemies with Barry Burton. And the one with the pussy arm over there is called a splasher. And splashers, you know... They have the ability to cover your screen with this pus. And this pus stays on the screen for a long time. I just call it getting slimed. And if they slime you, then, you know, there's pretty much nothing you can do about it. So I'm just going to kill this guy here because he, he will make himself be a nuisance. He can, and I'm just not going to deal with it. Handgun ammo is not bad. So now you're going to run up this hill. And that's going to be the key you need over here. And the puzzle here is you need a crate. You need a crate to get the key in that room. But there's revenants everywhere. And these guys are just very annoying. And trust me, when I say everywhere, I do mean they're everywhere. And they're covering all angles. And for all intention, for all purposes, I only have one firebomb bottle. And... Yeah. It is going to be fairly difficult. I'm good enough, they shouldn't see me. But there's the crate. God, their vision is so shitty. Their vision shouldn't be this shitty. In all honesty. Like, are you seeing this? Okay, I finally got caught. And see, that's the thing. When when Natalia Corda gets caught, it 
There's the weakness. One, two, three. No, 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 no. The hug they do does a lot of damage. No, 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 that's not good, no. Thankfully, I have a lot of herbs to compensate. There. Dead. Now, where is it at? Oh. I'll just go over here. Speaking of which, I'll just come over here. <laughs> there we go. Now, if I am... Go Whoa, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> totally my bad. So, thanks to the amount of herbs you get on Barry's campaign. If you ration them all properly, you should be fine. And you do get more ammo on Barry Burton's campaign than you do Claire's. So I'm going to crouch it because I don't want them to hear me. Now I'm just going to do this. Go and get the key. To let it follow me. Unlock the door. Is that where you met Moira? Over there. Go through the village and then... There's this part right here. So how far is she away? I can't just leave. Stay there. Gotcha. All right, 57 meters, 46. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna stop when it gets to about 24 meters. It should be good enough. Follow me. Good. About 27 meters. That's actually not bad. Now here's going to be the first instance of glasps in this place. I don't know why it does this. I think it's just loading it, and the screen's going to get blurry. And that's the glass specialty. When a glass is nearby, you'll see your screen get very blurry. And then when you hear a ring effect, that means it is very close to you. And you're in range for the instant death grab. And the instant death grab is quite tricky to dodge. Because if you don't dodge it, then you're actually kind of screwed. So I'm going to skip the cutscene. And there it is. God, Natalia. See, this thing constantly moves, and Natalia is supposed to, like, tell you where it is, but sometimes it just doesn't work. <sighs> Damn it. These things are so annoying, because they just destroy the pace. Fuck. Fuck. See, these things constantly move. And they just make themselves so fucking annoying. And that is how you do that. And these things are... You can go past them if you want, but it is very risky. 
it is very fucking risky. And it's it's a lot better when you have a buddy to help you with this because then you can just see them. And there's one over there. And see how you see the aggro range on these damn things. So there it is. There it is. See, look at that. Look how quickly they fucking move. It's just so stupid. See how quickly these damn... There we go, Natalia. Shit. What I like to do is I like to just line myself up with Natalia and then just fucking hope for the best. Because these things are really fucking annoying. And if you don't... Basically, if you just run past these on your first try, kudos to you. Yeah, just run past it like that. And you'll be alright. You can do that alternative with Natalia, but just make sure you're good. Like, you can do it. That's what I do. I just hit them, and then I just... You can run past them, but you can kill them, too. Killing them is safe, because when they're clumped together, you won't know what the fuck to do. So here's the tricky part. The game decides to troll you and just randomly throw a bunch of dogs at you. So I come to about here... I tell him to stay, and then about right here, yeah, these Otheruses, look how many of these damn things there are, so then I just run to the door, I get closer, I get closer, and then you want to make sure she doesn't get in tap. what, what's going on here? Am I going away from her? Oh, fuck. Well, she's been encamped, so... This is not a good thing to do unless you're really skilled. Skilled. So, now that she's been encamped, I have to take needless fucking damage. Oh, this is just not good. Well, I just died. <laughs> well, that fucking sucks. It usually doesn't go this bad. Well, I just died. So, that sucks. I'm probably going to get an A or a B. But I'm fine. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm not perfect. So, let's do this the right way this time. I'm going to have Barry stay about right here. Tell him to wait. There we go. She's going to get tired, but come on. These enemies are just moving my position. Alright, Barry didn't get damaged. <clears throat> now they're going to talk about what happened. They're going to talk about Natalia Cortez past. That part usually doesn't go bad for me, but of course it's the let's player's curse is when when you do it when you do some runs of the game or a game you're playing, everything goes fine. And then when you record it and, you know, you can't really afford to edit shit out. Well, I don't want to edit that out cuz it, it doesn't waste too much time for it to warn it warrant me editing it out. I'm actually going to use more time editing it out than just taking the loss. Because we all lose, and what's the point of editing that out? What's that about this game? Like, when you open up doors and you do all this other shit, editing it out, it doesn't, it feels kind of pointless because it's just so fast and it's so quick. Now, there's a revenant up here, but you can just completely ignore this guy, run past it, and then done. Now, there's actually glass in this place. And they're pretty much on the staircase. And so, oh, Revenant saw me, but uh, I really don't care. 
So I'm just going to point to this over here. Pick up the magnum rounds. I'm going to wait for this guy to come down. The weak point is the head. So come on. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Gonna have the tie pick up a brick. And then there's gonna be a new type of revenant coming up too. I'm just gonna There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 that sucks. No, 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 no. There we go. Last bullet killed it. So in here. You just don't want to run in here because you see that you see that right there? That's actually a revenant. And it tosses as part of its arm at you, and this arm fuck, how did I miss? So there we go, I killed it now. Now the point of this place is to jump on these crates and to get over there to that door. And if you can do it quickly, like this, you'll be all right. You always want to kill that guy. Though. That guy in the middle is going to launch his arm at you. It does massive damage, and it slimes your screen. And, yeah, that's why you want to kill that guy. That Revenant is dangerous. I forgot what the name of the Revenant was, but it's pretty damn dangerous. There's a green herb right here. There's a Revenant right there. And there's also a revenant up here. And what I like to do is... I like to... Okay, does Natalia have a brick? No. This is what I do. There's three revenants. The first revenant I kill... is actually the one at the top. Because the one at the top is going to be blocking the way. And there we go. Dead. The Revenant in front of us doesn't hear a thing. And you just walk up to this one and kill it. And then this one pops up and you're forced to deal with it. So this is what you want to do. You want to lure it out here. And then you just want to do this. Oh, it didn't get knocked down. That's actually a bad thing. That's just one of the many bullshit things about the Revenant. Is that sometimes you'll hit them and they will not knock down. And you have to improvise at that point. So I used all my sniper bullets up. There's glass in here, but thankfully all of, all of it is optional. So now we're out, no more of the glasps, done <laughs> with that part. So I'm going to have to be cutting this part in a little bit because this chapter is fairly long, you know, and it has some difficult parts too. So let's skip this cutscene, open up the door, and if I can kill this boss before the time expires, that would be very great. There's an elevator here, but it's all fucked up now. I can use that. And I'm actually out of, like, pistol bullets, too. So now this is where Natalia shines. Come around here. There are glasps here. So, hold up. I'm gonna open up the door. Fucking, come on, there we go, I go over here, now I'm going to pass, pass, and I'm going to reload my magnum, okay, No aggros.
yeah, because, alright, there we go, just use a magnum bullet on that, kill that one easily, you might be thinking, oh, that was very wasteful, but it's better to kill these bastards than it is to keep them alive. Because trust me, that one is just in a very bad position. And there's a boss coming up here. And it's Pedro, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, after kicking this helicopter down to the ground, I'm going to give us a bottle. I'm going to combine it, and I'm going to make... I'm just going to make a fire bottle. I'm going to pass this, and I'm going to, no, 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 I'm going to pass this. The good part is, I have a lot of herbs. The bad part is, i got to stop recording, and I don't have a lot of ammo. So, we'll see how things turn out in the next part. Alright, I'm back, and now this part of the video is going to be us taking on Pedro. Pedro, his weaknesses are his eyes. Magnum ammo here. Did I pick it up? No, I did not. So, here's what happens here. Pedro has this charging attack, and what you want to do is you want to find out where his weakness is on the tire. Alright, it's on his back. There we go. It's Right there. It's on his back. That's an instant kill, in case you don't know. If you get hit by that charging rush, you die. Whoa. He's actually quite fast at swinging the drill, too. So you have to be very careful. <sighs> Damn it. Alright. Ooh, drill has a lot of range. And Getting caught by that, you're likely going to get put in bleed status. There we go. One down. Now, where's the other weakness? On his knee. There we go. Another one down. That's. This is the reason why I have the damage. The damage buff on my weapons. Is because of this fight. Well, that's one of the reasons, but this fight is significantly easier. There we go. You can just do that to him. Now, where's his weakness? Alright. Ooh, you don't want to get caught by that attack. this way. There we go. When you shoot all his eyes, he automatically dies, no matter what his health interval is at. So it's right there. The chainsaw is kind of blocking it. What? Wow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that attack, no. No, 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 no. There we go. Where's that other weakness? Alright. On his shoulder. Alright, gonna run past.
past him. Woo! Oh, excuse me, it's right there. Dead. Yeah, when when the when it stops moving, when the um the drill stops making noise, he's dead. So now we have a whole lot of more options. <laughs> Too bad I took it from you, Barry. Sorry. Well, and now we're done. This is it. That's pretty much the highlight of part two, is just getting rid of them. And now we go... Whoopsie. No, 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 no. We go... I'm, I'm making a mistake. Okay. Bust this open. Alright, so... Plus this. Okay. What's over here? Do 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 do. Smoke powder. Ooh, a red herb. Uh, smoke powder will come in. Will come in handy later. Toss it up here. Nice. Alright, let's go down now. Oh, I wasn't in the... <laughs> I was using the map a little too much. You want to go over here with Barry. And, yep, that's pretty much it. Pedro dead, the highlight of the chapter is done. Now it is over here. Oh, I was thinking of this. <laughs> the temples will actually come in really handy. Rifle bullets are probably some of the most powerful, aside from the magnum, is your most powerful weapon you can use. Yeah, and Claire and Moira go over to the left, but Barry and Natalia go here. And we finally find a character of interest. I'm not going to say her name. Wait a minute, there's a crate over here. No, I don't want to read that. It's over here. What the hell? That's my bad. Not going to heal either because... Is there a crate? Nope, that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Alright. Combined with that. Yay, now we have more herbs. Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> I told you, they give Barry a lot of herbs. Like the creators of this game, why would you give Barry this many herbs? So I'm going to be skipping this. In episode 2, Contemplation End. It says, defeat a fiber and by only hitting their weak spots. That's actually kind of difficult. Defeating me to Pedro by destroying all of his eyes. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I got an A because I died in my accuracy. It doesn't matter though. Well, if you like this video, comment, like, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you all later.